Got him with a breaking ball. Needs to be a, no, a foul ball. Home plate umpire Jordan Baker saying that Ooh. Jeffers got a piece of it. And Alice Gore saying, hey, get some help. Jeffers took off for first like he didn't think he made contact. But the home plate umpire called foul ball. And Jordan Baker said that's 100% my call, so I don't think he's going to get help. And be surprised if you see Cora stay in this game after that, but it didn't look like. No, missed it by inches. Well, what a huge break for the Twins, unless Baker says, and now he will. He'll confer with the umpires, which I mean, you like to make the, see the right call be made here, but we thought yesterday when they conferred, they'd get, get it right, and no one changed the. Uh, call at home plate in the first inning and I think when you don't see these calls change it's it's assuming that the home plate umpire was closest and he had the best view of it so if you're going to overrule a guy on a play like this you have to be sure and, and they'll tell you that because if it gets changed you're going to see Rocco come out and they'll say okay well whether it's the first base umpire third base umpire whoever says all right that was not a foul ball be surprised to see Rocco stay in this game if it's not the home plate umpire who originally made the call change his mind or overrule it. And the at bat will continue. The Twins get a huge break. And now Alex Cora may get tossed. And he is. He's tossed. And he may be somewhere in his. There, he hold up two fingers. The same thing happened yesterday, and you didn't get it right. Yesterday it was egregious. I, I don't know yet how the other three umpires, one of them couldn't have seen that it was clearly not strike three. Yeah, this one a little bit more challenging because it. I mean, I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> and that was below the knees, but uh, Barnes stole it. Uh, Phil Cousy's going to rip off his mask right after this and go over to the. Oh, Buddy just got tossed. Yep. And Charlie's already been run out of a game once this year. And I'm, we're assuming, again, we're not there. And we're assuming it's Buddy and not Charlie. We saw a shot at Charlie. There have been some missed pitches tonight. And you can understand Buddy's frustration. Club has Absolutely. not scored in a couple of games, just four runs on this road trip. And you you've been squeezed on yours for your pitcher and now against your hitters. Now, now cuz he's is wandering over again. Well, I think in somebody the else is is coming down. Tom Hallion is coming down from his third base perch. He says his next plans are taking his kids to and from school. And Jesse Winker, irate at the plate. David Bell comes out. Ben May, our home plate umpire, and they're going to conference. Let's take a look at this. Did he get a piece of that ball there? And it does seem to squirt free. I heard something. I, I think it changes direction there. It looks like it starts to move straighter down. It's a graze. I, I think he got a piece of it. Out. Well, the ball clearly came free of Perez's glove. The question was, did he make contact and an ejection? Somebody's been ejected from the Reds' dugout. Bill Welke, our first base umpire, just gave a heave ho sign. Is it Winker gathering his stuff? And Hap all set to run. Uh, Contreras takes it. Did he swing? He did not. Ball four, and that forces home a run to make it three nothing Chicago. Well, Walker unhappy about a lot of the calls in that inning, and has a few words over his shoulder for John Lipka on his way out.
Well he's just been thrown out of the game in addition to being pulled out of the game. Lipka throws out Walker. We'll be right back. And Michael takes strike three called fastball right at the bottom of the zone and that time brothers got the call and there are two men down. Raised it just a bit here and got the call from Lipka. Four seamer. And lifted by Contreras. Well, somebody just got ejected in the Mets dugout. Taiwan Walker got ejected earlier arguing balls and strikes as he was being taken out of the game. And I don't know who just got the heave ho but some other Met is going to be watching from the clubhouse. I don't know if it was Louis or if it was somebody else. Of course we're watching from yeah. flushing so it's hard for us to be able to tell. So it's going to bully Luis out of there. Strike call. Profar is hot. Wow. That was a really good pitch. Got to be careful now. I know emotions are running a little hot right here. But uh, that's a good pitch. Chase Tingler coming out and Hallian telling him to go away. And he's tossing him. Chase Tingler has been ejected from this. First no, one of Marisnik no, no, is no, a strike. No. And wow. No. Yeah, Ro oh, Rossi David just Ross out. just got thrown out. Well, he just walked a guy, exactly. and that would have been ball one, and the anxiety level would have ramped up for Hader. And these guys fighting for every pitch, and he let Corey Blazer hear it. Man, oh, wow. that's about oh, as egregious uh, as we've seen this year. We've seen this spring. Watch oh out. boy! Now he's hit on the helmet. Boy, that was a scary moment. Jack clearly not doing that on purpose. Mike Maddox out to kind of calm him down. Blandino clearly wasn't happy with Jack for that. Just above the ear hole. And you can't blame him for not being happy about it. And no time to. I wonder what the conversation is all about, whether they're going to issue a warning or not. And I think that is what this is about. And, and I, I don't understand why you would do that here. I mean, I think they've turned a, a, a terrible pitch from Jack Flaherty into some kind of intent. And I think all that does is make it worse. I mean, Blandino might have felt like it was on purpose at the beginning. I, I, I can't imagine that he would have. I think he was just mad that it happened. And, and, he, and I can't blame him for that. But to say that there was intent, I'm sure that's what Mike Schilt's saying right now. And David Bell's saying the same thing. He says, you got, I think he's, well, David Bell's out of this game. He just got tossed. And this is the David Bell that I've seen before. So David either wants Jack tossed or there to be no warning. 
But he's not happy with this outcome at all. This will be the 12th career ejection for David Bell. You know, he's not happy clearly with what's just transpired, but also his team comes in having lost six straight. Right. And the way the warnings work, the warning actually goes to him also. I mean, you warn both teams. Once the umpires get involved in it and make it a warning. He's already been thrown out of this game, but he's getting his money's worth. David, one of the most mild-mannered people, as I mentioned yesterday, that you'd ever know until. Until he feels like it's time to say something strongly and he's not afraid to.